everybody, welcome back to another episode of Warp Jester Plays Minecraft! Yay! <laughs> yes, we are finally getting a chance to get back onto Minecraft, the root, the heart, the soul of what I've done for gaming. Um, I've actually played a lot of Minecraft, I just never had the option or gumption to actually record it, so I apologize there. Um, I know this is a really late start. Our server's been up for a while now because, yes, this is a new server and there's a new person. I'm so excited. I'll tell you about him in a little bit. But anyways, hi! <laughs> so, um, wow, lots have gone on. I, I, I filled you guys in on my uh, channel update. Uh, so I won't uh, bore you with details again, but yeah, life's been busy. I'm trying to make time to actually do some stuff. And uh, so... I am going to jump right into this. Gotta say hi, of course. Say hi to YouTube. Anyways, uh, so, yes, yeah, so we are on the new server, so that means Season 2! Yay! Wait, wait, hi, right there. How you doing? Are you really up there? It's -a me! How you doing? <laughs> anyways um as you can see as i said this is a new server and uh this is our new cherry bomb mod pack so all the previous episodes <laughs> all the previous episodes have been on the uh, m80 mod pack uh we retired the server we said our goodbyes you saw the uh the uh the goodbye tour and now we're on to the cherry bomb server it's been up for a few months now at least, I can't remember how, uh, maybe April, I think it was, we lose? I, I can't remember. Anyways, <laughs> so, um, I, I wanted to ask through this, I got a lot to tell you about it, and I don't want to make this a too long episode, so I apologize, it's probably going to be a pretty long one, sorry, but it's so much I want to tell you about this, and I'm just, I'm, I am, I've been excited, I, I've, I, I've been working really hard helping out with this, um, of course, uh, Turgo, uh, being our, our principal uh, uh, IT guy, sysadmin, and, and co-pack uh, designer. Um, we put a lot of work into getting this mod pack up. So, for those of you who don't know, um, we do custom mod packs for our group, Ball Rocket Gaming. And uh, just like with the last one, this is a custom mod pack from the ground up. We call it the Cherry Bomb Mod Pack. Uh, and this is the Cherry Bomb server. It's a whitelist server. You can find out more over at BallRockGaming.com. Anyways, um, it's taken a lot to do. This thing took a lot longer. We originally planned to like put it out at the end of the year, beginning of January, and it took until like April to get it out. But because it's a custom mod pack, it takes a lot more time to develop, do the work on, customize. We go a lot further with our mod packs than other people do. We don't just slap mods together and make sure they don't crash. We actually go through the configs, we do adjustments, we adjust recipes, and all kinds of stuff. So we're very, very detailed. So um, I'm going to start you off here. We're going to get a, a, a quick tour of the place. You can come up here a little bit. Whoop. Um, so what we're sitting in right now is what we call the hub. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you the maps real quick. We actually have journey maps now. So this area, woo, hi there, right here is the hub. And the hub is actually kind of the central area of the city. And you'll notice, look at the edge here, we're up on a plateau, get 100 things up. Uh, <laughs> and we have different sections for it. So to start off with, this is the hub. The hub is a function of kind of all of the city's services, if you will. So things like, oh, I got to turn this thing off. It's killing me. Yeah, falling, falling. Okay, wait, let me do this. Let me go ahead and get the uh, glider. Oh, the glider. So, this is our spawn area right here. I was staying right at the spawning, so it will mark right there under me. This is going to be our little spawn park. I have a little park here. At one end of that, we've got City Hall. This is built by Watwick. Uh, Watwick is a great guy. Absolutely wonderful personality. He's got a YouTube channel you definitely need to check out. I do have the link down below, as always. At the other end, we were going to we we're going to have a visitor center. This is going to be basically where people can run in, get some basic gear, um, find out details about the server, uh, things like the rules, the unique elements of the mod pack, etc., etc., etc. I got the world not quite loading here. There's actually there is a cliff here, but so we can't get uh, fill in. There we go. Whoa! Same about that plateau. Oi! Um. I apologize for this. This is just one of those one of those little quirks about us here. But hey, 
Um, anyway, so we're going to have the visitor center over here on one side. And then we've got a little uh, open area here. And then behind that, have Nature Wrath Apartments, which we'll talk about in a minute. Now, this area right here, this is our what we call a compound or common area. This was the first place we ended up landing at uh, and, and setting up shelter. And then it's kind of evolved from there. This is kind of our shared utility services. This will eventually go away and be displaced by other more current things. But this is basically for us to get started on it. Um, this mod pack is going to be a little different, or this server is going to be a little different from the MA server in that we're not going to do a centralized or communal uh, store system, the data center that I had. Uh, this time we're actually going to be independent, and one of the mods we've added is Universal Coin. And Universal Coin... Hi, guys. Yep, keep dying, making me stuff. Uh, <laughs> Universal Coin is, is nothing more than a, a mod that, uh, that has a currency. Um, there are, of course, many ways that this can be done. However, uh, what's kind of neat about this is it's got little ATMs here, as you can see. In the ATMs, you can put your ATM card in, which I have one. You can put coin on to and take coins off. But you get coin drops from special mobs and from uh, dungeon loot and things like that. So that's kind of a new thing we're adding. So we're trying to promote the commerce type personality of the place so that's going to be one of the big differences in how this server runs so looking forward to that i'm going to go ahead and jet set over this way here fill in the world a little bit we see the world god the real world is like this i'd be scared to drive <laughs> speaking of driving we actually have uh both flans mod and mc heli um in this mod pack so we do have mobility now and i'll show you some of the uh, vehicles i've got now, in addition to... Whoa, somebody grassed it up around here. Interesting. Uh, around this corner right here, we are going to have uh, uh, a building that me and Tox tried to do last time, just didn't have the time to. This is actually going to be our media building. The idea behind this is going to be a modern uh, office building. And we're actually going to have like a studio, an office space, meeting rooms, etc., for all of the YouTubers to come and, and, and use and have fun with. Um, this, this is one part kind of you know fun, haha, -ha, fun stuff, but it's also one part actually can be functional. Again, we have a studio, uh, which I'm probably going to be end up using a little bit for an upcoming series I have uh, that I talked about in my, uh, uh, my channel update video. Um, and so I'll probably be doing some, uh, some interviews there. Um, and then also you know, just you know, fun build, kind of fill things in a little bit. So that's going to be fun to do. Now let's go ahead and jet over this way here. The last, well, second to the last big piece of the puzzle is not much to look at right now. It's kind of a big giant hole in the ground, even when the land fills in. Come on, fill in. Um, oh, guys knees. Oh, no. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah. That's me. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so this area right here is actually going to be the Metro Hub or Transit Hub. I'm not really sure what we're going to call it. Uh, Tox, uh, ADF Toxic said he was going to take this on. However, he's been busy with uh, real life. So it hasn't really gotten worked out. I tried to do a little work here. But the idea of this is that we're going to have all the different transportation elements kind of folded in here. So we're going to have the train system is going to span out to the other cities. This is uh, one of the things that's common to this server from the last server is we have our central city here and then we'll have remote cities about 2,000 blocks away that people will be able to do theme cities, things like Forestry Town and Magic Town and so on. Um, so this is going to be the hub for not only those rails, but also this city's uh, subway system so they can get around and put it in places. We'll also have like a little bus depot just for fun. Um, and, uh, we'll also have, uh, we also have Galacticraft in this mod pack. So we're actually going to have a, a, uh, a launch base basically here as well. Now there is one other element to this. That's going to be really fun. As I said, we do have both MC Heli and Flans. And as you can see down there, you can just see a little tiny bit of it. I can't actually go down there because there's a, a world fog for the desert, but you can see we've got a couple planes. Well, you can see one of them here. Um, so we're actually going to be building a, uh, airport and Ruark 88 is actually, uh, manning, uh, or heading up that I'm helping him out as much as I can. We just don't seem to much have time to connect with each other. Our, our hours are a little bit off. So we're going to have a big giant airport terminal. that's going to kind of dig into the side of this hill here. So basically at the bottom of this, uh, this whole big mass will be the airport and you'll have different layers. So you have a layer for the trains, layer for the subway and then buses and so on. 
So it'll be a nice little layered metro system. Um, of course, we'll have like, you know, this will be like where portals are to get to the nether. So that's going to be a big moment of the project. I'm hoping that we can coordinate to do some BRG group events and uh, actually get some things done here. Um, this right here is my little work, uh, little work trailer like I did many, many times before. Um, I haven't had a chance to put the walls up. I want to put walls up to have like uh, signs of the different things we're doing um, so that we'll have a chance to actually uh, uh, so people can see what's going on basically. And uh, on this server, people are encouraged to participate in the theme of this to take up the different projects like what we're doing, uh, City Hall and so on. It's not mandatory. It's this is we, we try to encourage community, uh, especially in the fact we're such we're such a YouTube heavy environment. Uh, promoting the opportunities for uh, uh, collabs and community is very important. Now, this right here is our Nature's Wrath Apartments. The name came from our first couple of days on the server when we had no cover, no shelter. There was an incident with uh, killing dryads. If you ever see dryads from Mars Magica, don't kill them. Because if you kill them, then they spawn nature guardians, which we've nicknamed uh, asshole groots because they really are. <laughs> um, if you want to see some of that, check out uh, ADF Toxic, uh, BDA, um, Ruark. I'm trying to cover everybody. I apologize if I miss anybody. They all have videos of first day on the server, and it is pathetically hilarious. <laughs> so. Anyways, um, so this was laid out by uh, me, and then it was uh, built up by Tigrix. So I basically laid the foundation, the, basically the blueprint, and then Tigrix from Tigrix Gaming, another YouTuber, uh, came in and actually did the detail work. He's been in a bunch of different rooms here. So people can, when they first get on the server, can go pick out an apartment, and they can stay there as long as they need to. It's just to give them a roof over the head and some shelter until they can go out and build their own place. Speaking of building their own place, we're going to go ahead and Puts on over to our gated community. I'm waiting for a particular mod to be added so I can actually have gates. We'll have little gates across here. Uh, I built those, built that stuff. I haven't really furnished the insides or anything. I'm going to go ahead and go counterclockwise here. We've got a bunch of people here. Uh, so, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and mosey over this way here since we have somebody who just happens to be on at the moment here. This year, this year is Lance. Lance is our newest member to the. Uh, uh, news member to the uh, server, uh, Lance actually, um, if you don't know him, uh, he actually is a map maker, and he uh, did a map called uh, 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 Dangers of Plenty, and if you want to see uh, some gameplay of that, um, uh, people over at uh, Bridge Street Mining Co. Uh, uh, YouTube channel, that's uh, Snapskip and uh, uh, Dude Caller, Psy Guy. I think they have a couple other people. I'm sorry for getting you guys' names, um, but they're actually doing uh, uh, they're actually doing uh, a playthrough of his uh, map. So they're having fun with that. They're cursing at him all the time because the map's hard. <laughs> um, so he's the newest uh, newest member. So he's already got a nice looking uh, place going here already. I like it. Um, so yes, yeah, so he's the newest member there of a little group here. Next door to him on this side. We have another uh, uh, new-ish member. His name is Luke Z Actually, this, this, is Luke Z this is the back end of Ruark. I apologize. This is Ruark's place. Ruark88. He's been with us since the very beginning. He's actually with us on the TBA server. And lo and behold, he actually built a normal-ish looking house. It actually, it's a normal house on a normal field. It's totally normal. Oh, no, wait. Oh, here we go. Yep, this is Ruark for you. Completely dug out, drilled out everything right down the bedrock. Yeah, that is a health hazard, that is a safety hazard right there. Good lord, man. Uh, <laughs> now this this is this is Rook's house he's building. Uh, Just call it pre-owned. Certified pre-owned. Anyways, <laughs> so that's Rourke's place. We'll, we'll see the front seven a little bit here. Um, but yeah, so Rourke, Rourke is actually a pretty cool thing here. You'll notice the grass is uh, unusually green on his side, if you will. He actually planted a whole bunch of silverwood trees. And the silverwood trees apparently actually adjust the biome. 
and as a result, make this wonderful brightly green, uh, brightly green graph. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I don't know if anybody talking. I'm to chat and chat. <laughs> As a whole. Oh, that's good. Yeah, good typing. I like it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, a douchey. <laughs> um, so this is Snapskip's place. Snapskip is one of the members of the Bridge Street Mine Co. They have a, uh, a, a channel, they have a vanilla uh, server that they do. They do a bunch of playthroughs and other games as well. Uh, um, Don't Starve. They so said they're doing the playthrough for um, Lance's uh, uh, Dangers of Plenty map. A um, whole bunch of stuff. You got to go check it out. They got a lot of fun stuff there. And Step School has got some mad skills when it comes to uh, design, as you can see right here. It's a very beautiful house. Um, his house actually is one of the coastal properties, and we call it coastal for a reason. I'll tell you that in a little bit here. You see, he's actually got the house kind of coming down. He's actually got a little, uh, little bay here for his chopper. Um, I'll let him do the tour of his house sometime when I get a chance. But uh, gorgeous, gorgeous work. Uh, another one of the relatively new members to our group is Dude Collar. Again, Dude Collar is uh, another one of the the tag team on the Bridge Street Mine Co. And he uh, I've been on here for oh a couple of weeks. He's already got himself pretty shagged out. I like it. Um, they both have had a little experience with modded, but not a whole lot. Oh, I love the support coming out. That is well done, sir. Well done. This freaks the crap out of me. This is quite clear glass and amply named. <laughs> God, that, that's actually pretty neat, too. But, uh, yeah, so this is Ducar's place. Again, I'll uh, you know, let them do the formal uh, house tours. I think, I think Ducar's actually kind of uh, poked around his house a little bit. Uh, in front of, or to the side of him, we've got uh, Trav here. Uh, Trav joined us right at the end of the last server, and now he's got himself set up. He's got a beautiful little, I don't know, it's almost Southern Plantation-esque looking house. Gorgeous inside. Again, I, I don't have the time to go through every single one of these on the start of the server. Um, this uh, bulbous looking thing here that's kind of explained, this is VSD's, and VSD is trying to get artsy. So she's getting creative and doing different things here. Um, also worth note, uh, one of the big changes that you may not have known is I used to be chapter leader of our Minecraft group. Chapter leader is somebody who kind of cares for the particular faction. We are, Ball Rocket is a, a multi-game entity, um, but we have chapter leaders for official chapters, one of which is Minecraft. And I was chapter leader, but due to real life stuff, I had to step down. So VSD has taken over as interim chapter leader and basically... Uh, holding down the fort until either A, she decides to take it on full-time, or B, somebody else comes along that wants to do it. Um, so that's basically uh, the news there. Uh, this back here is not a house. This is a lighthouse. This is actually BDA's work. BDA is a very skilled artiste when it comes to things. You, know, you give him uh, micro blocks and the carpenter's blocks, this is the kind of crazy this comes up with. Now, BDA uh, has been a principal designer of our city here. He's done all the roads, the map layout. Uh, if you go to ballrocketgaming.com, go to our forums, you'll see he actually made maps of uh, all the different uh, areas with details and what's what and what's where. And the theme he kind of came up with is kind of the idea of this plateau used to be an island and the water was much higher. And so they had lighthouses out here and then the water has since receded. Um... But, uh, so he's done a little bit of work in that. BDA's actual plot of land, however, for his home is over here. This lovely little green area right here. So this is BDA's home. It consists of some barrels, some chests, and... Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> BDA's been so busy doing the actual city work that he just hasn't had the ability to, uh... Uh... Actually build his own thing. I, I, I sympathize with him completely because that's how it was on the M80 server and all the other servers. I'm so busy doing community stuff that I just never get a chance to. Uh, another entity we have on the server, uh, not too often, but uh, <laughs> is uh, May Plays Games. May Plays Games is uh, another YouTuber, um, and she does a lot of like World of Warcraft and a little bit of Minecraft and other things. Now, she hasn't been on in a little while. I'm hoping we can we can spur her to come join us again. Um, but we're giving her a hard time. You can see we've got the uh, soup shack right here. 
uh, <laughs> she loves poison potatoes. Um, she had made a comment on her first video how hard it was to find food, and it was, she didn't realize it was a common area. She jumped down before we could give her the tour, so she had no idea. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, so there's a bunch of other plots here. The base of the plots were laid out um, so that the uh, the plot uh, overshot overshot didn't have hair around it. Couldn't find it. No, I'm sorry. Kids don't look that up. <laughs> Let's go to the residential area here. If you zoom in just a little bit, you can kind of see the little, the walls and dividers. So the outer plots here are smaller plots. You can see there's a plot right there. There's Trav's plot. So these are all smaller plots kind of hanging off the edges. Got a few more to see here still. And then the inner plots are larger plots. So these are bigger areas right here, right here. So you've got more mass, just no coast, no, uh, no edge. So that's why we laid that out. Um... So that's kind of how, how it's done. You can see some very small plots here, some little bigger ones. BDA is going to put another lighthouse over that way, uh, potentially. So we're going to zip back towards Ruark's place here. So again, this is Ruark's house with this beautiful green lawn. And then next door to him, we've got Tigrix. And again, Tigrix, uh, Tigrix Gaming. He's another uh, YouTuber. He does a lot of different games. Um, of course, Minecraft. He also uh, does a vanilla Minecraft on the iCraft server, uh, as well as... Uh, uh, Sims, uh, Kerbal, all kinds of stuff. But he recently had a hard drive failure that uh, wiped out some of his games. So uh, definitely stop by, check his channel out, give him a little bit of, of love and support. So you kind of from scratch. Um, he's actually rebuilt this house three times now. He started out with a uh, Destiny style futuristic house, tore that down, went with a different style of house, tore that down. Now he's doing. A small house is going to do like multiple buildings on the property, so going that way. We're coming kind of around the corner here. Here's a whole bunch of choppers. These are all my choppers from MC Heli. Uh, temporary, temporary airfield. <laughs> this is actually supposed to be a plot for somebody to build on. I just kind of took it over temporarily, quote unquote, long term. I um, mean, that's mostly because my plot doesn't have room for these, and I'll show you in a second. Um, this right here, though, this is this is my this is my favorite. This is my baby right here. This is a sea dragon. This thing is flipping epic. Oh my god! Okay, first of all, every single seat here is a is an actual seat that somebody can sit on, so I can carry like the entirety of the Bar Rocket uh, chapter uh, in here, including the ones up front with the guns and everything. And then on top of that, ooh, hello, hi there, glitchy. Uh, wow, I totally got in the wrong seat. That's fine. I can get in there, can I? No, no, no. What's the problem with these damn things? Sometimes you kind of sit in the wrong place. Uh, I thought the driver's seat was on this side. Um, can you get in? Okay. And see how this is how sad I am. This. There we go. So on top of having a lot of uh, a lot of people capacity, it's also got a uh, an inventory. Lots of inventory, and so if you take, like, for example, the thermal ex thermal expansion chest, which can hold this stuff when you break them, you basically take this guy out, fly wherever you want to fly, and uh, you can just have gads of uh, uh, gads of storage. So a really great, basically, mobile command center, if you will. So I love that thing. It's beautiful. Makes me even tear to my eye. Uh, next on our list is Watwick. Watwick is. Uh, Another YouTuber, again. <laughs> He's the one that built City Hall. This is his uh, space... Well, it was a space egg. We were giving him a hard time because it looked like an egg at first. But he's, he's really stylized, and I, I love love the detailing he's done with the uh, slopes and everything like that. Um, really great detail. Uh, Watwick, uh, uh, however, he decided to screw around with me and drop a bunch of those uh, dryads in my base. And again, you can't just go and kill them because then they spawn an asshole group. Um, so he thought that was kind of funny. So I'm prepping to get back at him. And that's going to probably be my next episode is right off the bat. We're going to come right out of the gates in the new series with a prank. And oh, baby, stay tuned for that because it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I give back in pranks in, in about tenfold, and he thinks he's he he, he thinks he's gonna be all badassery about this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Watt, you're wrong. <laughs> I love you, man. I hope you love me after this. <laughs> Anyways, he's got a beautiful setup. He actually has uh, again an edge plot, and so he's got the actual uh, like different tiers you can see down there. Um, I love it too because he actually took the extra time to actually exchange all of this uh, hardened dirt with this uh, andesite, whatever it is. 
So then that's a that's a dedication right there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next order to that is me and my wife's place. Mm -hmm.